One of the ways that uh, uh, we've been able to alter physician engagement is through the use of research studies. For example, when we were first going live with our patient portal, and one of the studies we were doing was to show patients their test results in real time. And we said, well, you know, there's lots of stories and anecdotes about, or theories about how this is probably a bad idea. You know, you show the patient their test result and they will call us with hundreds of phone calls. You know, that potassium from three years ago was slightly abnormal. How come you didn't tell me about it? CT, I want to take care of patients, not answer nuisance phone calls. Um, and on the other hand, we have physicians who understand that more transparency is a good thing. We already release our records to the patient. Why not make it more convenient and they can be a collaborator in our care? So we actually conducted a research study where we randomized half of our patients to full access electronically to patient test results in real time. The, the moment that the physician got the test result, the patient would receive it at home. And of the seven physicians we approached to do this study, three of them were in favor, four of them were against. And in fact, one physician said, you know, the only reason I'm going to participate in your study is because it looks like you're doing a rigorous study, and by the end of the year, you will know precisely how bad an idea this is. Well, we actually measured those results and at the end of the year went back and spoke to these physicians and surprise of surprises turns out all seven physicians at the end of the study were in favor of transparency and immediate release of test results one of them said I didn't know you this was still going on I had no impact to my workflow the nurses loved it they said that patients called with much more intelligent questions than before instead of saying what's my ejection fraction they were saying well I see that my ejection fraction fell how can you help me get the number back up and one patient said I traveled out of town and usually when I lose luggage with my medications it's a bear to try to get those pills refilled I was able to go to an urgent care in the state I was in and say if you have Internet Explorer I can show you my my chart and please could I have my prescriptions refilled because I'm out and that worked tremendously well and at the end of the study, physicians actually said, you know, having patients have access, and this is actually the same patient, physician who was dead set against this in the beginning, said to us at the end, you know, having patients have access to their chart, I think is fundamentally the right thing to do and makes me a better doctor. And all of our jaws dropped at that moment. <laughs> um, but this person has been one of our biggest supporters since then. So one of the issues we struggled with was um, IT ownership. Uh, so often hospitals uh, take the initiative to institute an electronic health record, and yet oftentimes the physician leadership is not ready. And, uh, and we're faced with playing catch up sometimes. And, and why is that? We tried to look at the fundamental reasons why clinicians are not necessarily on the forefront of wanting to adopt electronic health records. And one of the main reasons is many of our physician senior leadership are um, not typing savvy. They never took it in high school. They consider it a secretarial activity. And so consequently, they look at the IT leadership and say, so you're forcing me to be a secretary instead of paying me to be the clinician that I am. It's a big barrier that we have to overcome. One of the ways we get over that is by saying, you know, this is really the way that we take your information and translate it to action. Do you want to play the game of telephone and say, um, I said this, and then the next person said this about my order, and the next person said this about my order, and ultimately they get the order wrong. Whereas when I enter it, I can see uh, that I got the order right. I get the alerts from the computer. I respond to it personally, and over time that's more accurate and safer care for the patient.